Now let us explore some of the information functions. Now when I say information functions, they would be available under the formulas menu under more functions and information. Well, most of these functions over here may not be of use to everyone. In fact, if you are into some real technical aspect of working with Excel, probably you might consider using them, but it's very rare and often or most in general, it's not relevant to common work. So, but in this case, in this particular program, we are covering all those functions that are commonly used. The rest of them would be a niche one. For example, here, info returns information about the current operating environment. What do we have to do with the operating environment right now? Cell returns information about the formatting location of contents of the first cell according to a sheet's reading order in a reference. Well, most of these functions are useful, but there are very few which we need not touch it at all. We have better ways of working with them without them as well so but these are like good to know or good to have them kind of but rarely used so firstly we'll start with is blank is error and all these functions over here so let's say first we have is blank so what exactly is this function doing here here it helps us it's like as if we are asking excel is it blank so for example, I have this list of numbers here, so one, two, three, and there's a blank five, six, seven, eight, maybe another blank and 10. Let's say these are 10 records, but there are some. So all I'll do is here I put is blank. I just need to select the cell and close the bracket. It returns the result as true or false. So we have false, copy paste, copy this and paste it here you see it's true again false 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 true false so essentially the is blank function returns true if the cell that you are pointing to is blank else it will return as false so now moving on we have another function called as is err now what about this checks whether a value is an error other than the hash any and returns true or false. So if there is an error, it will return the value as true or false, but it does not consider the hash any error. So let me show you an example here. We have some, I'll just put in some errors here. We have div zero error. And then we also have hash n slash a error. And then we also have hash value error and then hash ref error. So mostly the is functions, all the functions that begin with is, or rather I would say most of the functions that begin with is is, these are all used for validation. Here you can validate whether if there is any one which is blank. Similarly, I would like to validate if there is any of these which have an error. Now, mind you, I have mentioned them as a proper error message. Well, in case if you are not getting it correctly, try something else like, for example, div0 error is something equals 200 divided by 0. Hash any error, well, I need some set of data to refer to that might give a hash any error. That may not be the right time right now. So I say 100 multiplied by some cell over here. And in this cell, I say ABC. You see, it gives a hash value error. Because we cannot do an arithmetic expression with text, right? So it's a hash value error and then a hash ref error. In case if you have, you are referring to something which no longer exists, let's say I refer to this cell over here. And now I delete the cell. That is delete, shift cells up, we get a hash ref error. Now these are genuine errors over here. So let us check the is err function. First check this. It says true. Yes, it's a error. What about this one? Yes, it is true. And what about this? Yes, it is true. Similarly, if you were to check these, it will be the same thing as ERR. 
and I apply them. Now you see the hash any error is giving a return as false because the core purpose of this function was while using the function it mentioned it checks whether a value is an error other than the hash any and returns true or false. If it is an error, it returns as true. Anything but these errors except for any, then it will return as false, including any. If it is a hash any error, it will return as false and any other value apart from these errors or any other errors, it will return as true. Now, what is the difference? Why did it exclude any? Well, that's a different story. This pro, this function has been designed that way, but we also have another function called as is error. Now here, it does not bother about whether it's a hash any error or which. Any of the hash errors, it will give you the result. So is error, it's a div zero. That's true. Let me put it here. So we wait. So I say this is is err function and these are the values on which I tested. Now I'll say error is error function. So I say is error. I select the error and it's true and true and true. All of them showing as true. What if this was 10? Well, it's a false. What if this was test. It's not an error message and hence it's a false. Let me clear this up for you. And this is how the is error function works. What is the purpose of these functions? Well, they just help you validate whether are these, are there any errors in them or not? Well, when you get into modeling at certain times, in case if you have any of these errors in subsequent worksheets and probably you might have overlooked them, then you just need to come back to these cells where you have a separate place for validation. If all are appearing as false, you're good to go. But if any of those are appearing as true, then that means there is something wrong. You need to fix it. Now, moving on, we have another function called as is even. And we also have another function called as is odd. And now the purpose of these functions are to just check whether they are even or odd. Okay, so let's say I want to try 2 and then 15 and then 19 and then 26. These are the four numbers I want to test. So I say is even. I select the number, close the bracket. It's true. What about this? Is even. Select the number, close the bracket. It's false. And this is even. Select the number, close the brackets is even and true. Now what about odd is odd. It will return true if the value that you are selecting is so is odd. This should return true. Same way is odd. This should return true as well. And is odd. This will return false because this is not an odd number. So whenever there is an odd number, is odd function returns true. And if it is an even number, then is even function will return the even numbers as true. Now, depending on your applicability and your project requirements or your whatever task that you're working at, accordingly, you might want to use either of these functions. So another function that we'll be focusing on would be is text. Well, again, it helps you with validating whether the value that you're entering is text or not. So take a look here. I say is text checks whether a value is text and returns true or false. If it is a text, it will return true. If it is not a text, it will return false. So this is a text that I've entered over here. And if I close the bracket, what do I get? It's true. But now what if I say is text and click on number 15? It returns false. And now what if I say is text and select this true? It returns false. Why? True is not a text. It's a Boolean format or logical value. That is, in terms of Boolean language, it's 0 and 1. 
and in terms of logical it's true or false but it is not a text hence it returns the value as false well in case if we want to cross check we can try another is text and this time i'll select false close the bracket and you have this still as false well that's pretty much about the information functions they just help you identify whether are there any potential deviations from what you have initially planned for let's say you were expecting some odd numbers over there and if there are any events then it will let you know with is even function or in case if you want to use the is or function it will help you out and same way with the is error and is err functions